Welcome to Manhattan, the Big Apple, the city that never sleeps. I hear you're looking to learn more about the Spanish influence of New York City. We don't have much time, so come and join me to see the imprint that the Spanish have made on the most iconic parts of New York. I'll begin this tour here at my apartment in the Navarro apartment houses. Did you know that these buildings were built by the Spanish engineer and businessman José Francisco Navarro Azac? He was also in charge of building the world's first elevated train around the corner on 6th Avenue. It seems to me that Spaniards really like heights. And if you don't believe me, just ask Heraclio Alfaro. Who's he? Well, no other than an aeronautical engineer and aviation pioneer who built the first helicopters in the USA. Look, there's one now. You know, I was also reading in the newspaper today that we can now cross Niagara Falls in the new Spanish Aero car designed by Leonardo Torres Quevedo. These Spaniards really are the bee's knees. And by the way, in Grand Central Station, be sure to take a look at the magnificent vaulted tile ceilings designed by Rafael Guastavino. He also designed the ones at Ellis Island. The New York Times even called him the architect of New York. Oh, I almost forgot. Tonight, I have tickets to see Marcelino Orbes. People have been telling me he's considered the best clown in the world, so I just had to see him perform. His shows were already a roaring success in London, and he finally came to New York. He's not the only Spanish performer who took New York by storm. I could never forget La Carmencita, who captivated all audiences across the city. I have to go to the show now, but I hope you learned a little bit about how Spaniards have shaped New York. Toodaloo!